ready. Hello and welcome back to Code Buds. Welcome back, friends. We are inspired. I am so inspired. Let's go down there, see what we're working with, if we can cook some up. So we have a plan. We have... We're going to cheese it. We're going to cheese it. I got to get smarter, though. Yeah, got to get smarter, learn how to make things better. I did eat that thing that m made me get one smarter. Yeah, it was a um, one like rare thing because you put salt in. Um, it's not mm. guaranteed. And I also don't think you can take skills that require uh, abilities. You know, it, like, you need the raw ability. You can't just like you can't cheese it like that, unfortunately. So we're gonna um, check out some ruins that we have discovered from rooting around in scrap. And uh, then we're gonna go and do a proper ruin dive and we're gonna oh, level some, up. Got some worm meat. You do have some worm meat. We're gonna- I don't remember why we like that, but I'm excited. Uh, I think it's cause one of your recipes that you liked that was actually quite good required worm meat. Could have mm. uh, been the one that used Hulk honey. There we go. Uh, let's, yeah, let's make a new recipe. Um, you know, it would be nice if we had an actual... I don't know, do we have a good, like, Hulk honey one that gives you strength? Or, oh, you know what we need? We need one that uses skulk. And you do, you would need, you'll need to preserve some skulk. Right, we've tried this before. It's never worked out how you wanted. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a trial and error thing. Um, you can... I, do you know how to make those? I don't know. Let's check real quick. Good to keep one if you don't know how to make one. Yeah, you do. Okay, do. so go ahead and preserve. One. Preser I mean, I've We're never... going to have to get some black pumas. I've never seen a black puma. I'll be honest. Ugh. So it's rare. Right. It's fine. Um, I tend to not use Skulk. It's uh, a nice item, but it's not good for us because I'm pretty sure it just gives us a higher DV and that's not useful. Uh, what we want is the agility that uh, Skull Conjector can potentially add. And I'm going to do both. Go for it. Wow. All right. So what we want is, um, can do, yes, yeah, skull, uh, skull, hulk honey, and, and uh, salt. Perfect. You could, if you want to change things up a bit, you could do cider, but we don't have any cider. We, we want to revisit that weep that gave you all that cider at some point. I must have, I don't know okay. if we already collected it all. Yeah, let's do this since we can actually afford that. Can't forget the glow crow's left foot. True. Plus one MA. Right, some ma. Uh, Guaranteed to be tasty even while hungry. Plus four strength. Can use burning claws. So you got the strength, but not the speed. That's you right. Yeah. It's fine. We got it. You know, you got to keep trying. We got a salty yogurt with honey and creep flatbread. Cooking is very much a. Um, it's it's basically you know you're concocting science, and so if only uh, if only there was a series of videos deep diving into the cooking mechanics <laughs> of Caves of Cud. Coming soon. Coming soon. TM. Oh. Um, All right. I don't know why you're not getting three choices. Generally speaking, when you're inspired, you get three choices. Not sure why not. So. I don't know either. I see a horse. I see a dog. Yeah. You gonna pet that dog? I'm gonna give it a go. Oh, hello. No, oh, come back. There's a turret. They did improve the animation for petting Wow! Dogs, but you're not- we're not working on the- <gasps> Yeah, what? Dragonflies don't like dogs. 
Get out of here. You're gonna kill the dragonflies. Get out of here, dog. Run. <laughs> Soft buzzing. Mm. They have nothing to I trade. Try. Equimax has Living? nothing to do. Live and drink, trade. my pony. <laughs> well, we've got some interesting artifacts. Not even artifacts. Contraptions. I think those are... Um, grinding stones. What's stopping me? You're seeing a snap jaw on the right side. Oh... He's Got dead. A salt hopper, but we're friends to bugs. So we're good there. Why are salt hoppers enemies to dragonflies? I thought they were on the same faction. I guess uh, dragonflies count as winged creatures. Mm. This was a really boring run. Ugh. Great. I love that. I don't like that it's electrical. It kind of spoils the effect a it makes, little bit. It makes me nervous. That I'm going to explode things. Oh my gosh, dude, stop. <laughs> oh. What's... What are these? What are these? Large boulder. Just, They're just white croissants. White croissants. They're stale. Millstone. I was right. Is there any point to repair them? No, none. You can if you want. You did it. I, I get a little bit of XP. Did you? No, you didn't. Yeah. No. No, you, you didn't. didn't. No. Okay. It's at tw plus twenty-four because you re basically healed the millstone. Okay. <laughs> well, be that way. I will. Let's let's leave this place. This is a very boring ruin. Those things up there are nothing also? Yes. And yeah, they they are also nothing. There's nothing up here. What secrets? I mean there are All some right. pockets here, but Well, we got the claws. We might as well enjoy them, you know? Yeah. All right. No. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> All right. Boring. What else? Um, Next ruin. Sol the Silitum retro version. I love, I love that. The retro version. And then we've got the Alamo. Alamo. Shall we go to the retro version? Let's do it. Oh, oh, well, before we head to those ruins, we should check out these ruins. Ah, the sixth median Alamo. Cool walls, bro. Oh, we have some fresh water. Pretty sure that's fresh water. Yeah. You can collect that if you want. We have it set not to auto collect, but you know, you still want to collect it when you have the room. Well. Yeah. Wow, that guy threw a grenade at you. Just get out of here, guys. Come on. Got attacked by the three stooges there. Apparently. Oh. Apparently, um, kudzu tiles have recently been updated so that they uh, use the tile that they're on as a background. It's not going to affect our run because we're making sure we don't update our version of kudz so as not to spoil our save. But worth noting, they I think they will look a, quite a bit better in uh, the new version of kud. Oh. oh well good thing we have I that repair I can, skill i yeah. can fix things it'll uh, be an armor 
Um, it'll be an armor. Say it one more time. It'll be an it'll be an armor. Right. It'll. <laughs> Yeah, Quip them. Great. You did it. That justifies taking that skill. I mean, it doesn't not. I, I like. None of the skills in CUD are useless except for maybe deploy turret and lay mine. And honestly, there is still a debatable um, like play style there. Like you could you could definitely for like the trolls set up a kill box with turrets that kill them. So still deploy turret and mines are viable. Uh, and it's one of the reasons I really enjoy CUD is that nothing in it feels worthless. Um, however, I do value other things more than repairing because fix it spray foam is a thing and it's not even a particularly rare thing, but when you don't have it, you know, it's kind of nice to be able to fix your own stuff. So much like, uh, improves movement speed in water. I, I kind of devalue it. Oh, we got some, we got some witch wood bark there. I'm seeing a lot of red on the map, but not anything on the screen. Um, that's because they're very well camouflaged. They're plants oh, ha hanging oh. around in other plants. Ooh, we've got a uh, feral law on this map. That bad. That is bad. That dog is about to get themselves no. killed. Oh my god, the dog. Luckily, the dog has a friend. Oh my god, the dog survived. I got you. you were like, I got get, you, bud. Get down, Mr. President. Oh no, the dog's dead for sure. Ain't no way That's the dog's bad. surviving a honey skunk. Yep. Sorry, dog. <sighs> you tried. I don't. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> Where are those coming from? Uh, northwest. Yeah, I see it. It's in the. It's in the water. There's one south of you that is making me a little nervous. There you go. Darlishid. One auspicious day, Darla should trek across the field of skulls. And we know this. We know this. You've been getting pretty unlucky with uh, some of the Sultan lore. You keep finding the same ones. I know you ha know, like, I know there's lore that you haven't found because you haven't gotten the achievement to, of uh, discovering an entire Sultan's chronology. Bad? That is a chameleon. It's, they are bad, but it's they are trivial. Blending in with the water. Now he is dead. All right, I think we can safely do an auto explore. Now. Uh, never mind. Oh, there's another feral law. Ugh. That's close. It is quite close. I mean, you can take an attack from them. They're more dangerous in the early game than. And there's still more tumbling pods that indicates to me another feral law somewhere yeah no i don't want to shoot the dog <laughs> nice prioritization I got to get closer. Get to the feral law. Doggy, Be get away from it. Beware the Dude. tumbling pods. The dog is doomed. This is the episode of mm. Doomed Dogs. Oof. Sorry, dog. Oh, it was a guard dog, too. 
They're Man. extra good boys. What stopped me? Resonance minor. Um, you're seeing something to yourself. Residence minor mark one. There he is. You hit it. You didn't kill it. Now you can't see it. No, it died. Did it? No, it didn't. The resonance minor MK1 dies. Oh, you just don't get experience from it. My bad. Ugh. Die, pig. Honestly, What's hitting me? Oh, a sap. That's not good. Yeah. Honestly, pigs are pretty good boys, too. But uh, they don't like you in this game. Nice. Pet the dog. Ba -da -da -ba -da 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 -da. Not a lot going on in these ruins. It is a swamp ruin or marsh ruin, so I don't think it's going to be particularly interesting. But, you know, I like to check these boxes because you never know. It might be something. It can be interesting. We've done it. All right. It's content. Next. That one. Let's try the one in a jungle. It's a bit spicy. Ah, the Alamu retroversion yeah. horse. We got to do a retro version because we never forget the Alamu. That's probably correct. Goldman. Yeah, that's bad. We're just hoping there's no seed sowers. You can take on anything, but the seed sowers will destroy us. What's that? That's a frog. Freeze frog. Bad. They're fine. Yeah, I mean, he chilled you a little bit, but that's fine. He has a cool... Oh, my God. Well, there's the seed sower I mentioned. Um... Yeah, I mean, you can hit it. Oh, I see you're throwing a grenade. Good, good, good move. Well, you seemed worried. Yeah... You, uh, that was a very good strat. What's this blue flashing guy? He is a uh, mental mutant goat folk. He's phased right okay. now. He's flashing because he's phased, which doesn't really mean much to you. I don't even think he can hurt you if he's phased. Um, but it does mean you can't hit him until it becomes unfazed. Oh, he can hurt you, actually. But now he's unfazed. So, what was that? What did you do? I don't know that I did it. Done. See, there is an ape fur. There's a rubber. Oh, elastine's. Uh, elastine's not as good as um. The other one. I always get the two confused. You sold a bonnet of it. I can't remember what what it was called. Well, rubber suit. Um, you can take it. I think it might sell for something. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. It's, it said repair because it's probably like slightly damaged, but it's not broken. Also reload because we, we, uh, often forget after a combat and then we get, it gets us in trouble. Problem is you don't seem to like these goat fellas, but it keeps telling us interesting goat Bella places. Yeah. Well, uh, you're in the jungle, and uh, the goat folk are very common in the jungle. It's one of the reasons, uh, if you recall, one of the first skills I asked you to get was wayfaring jungle. Because getting lost in the jungle is possibly a death sentence. If you find yourself um, surrounded by goat folk, it can be just the worst. You're close enough to him, you don't have to use a grenade, you can just go into melee. It's a nice thing about, um... Oh yeah, you have a four-corned helm. What's your reputation with Goat Folk? Uh, shift. 
F? Okay. Shift, What's the thing? I think it's Shift F. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I might be confusing your run with my run because I think I'm almost friends with go Goat Folk right now. Yeah, it's not enough. Minus 475. If you were the Four Corned Helm, I believe it's a, some reputation for Goat Folk. But not enough to be on friendly terms with them. Can have a look at so it. So I shouldn't to... pick this up. You already have one, I think. Yeah, one hundred. I think you need to be like uh, above negative two hundred before they become indifferent to you. None of that is anything. We are slowly crawling up on the experience. We keep getting hit by freeze frogs. Oh, yeah. Normal good folk is actually quite good for us because they are worth some experience. Why won't you die? They are pretty beefy. Or, I guess, what's what is goat made of? Goat. Well, like, what do you call them? The meat. Goat. Melt. Uh. Mutton? Oh, I'm thinking of lamb. They're, they're, I think goat mutton is also a thing. I don't know. They're muttony. Oh, I got a weird artifact. They're but muttonous. It's a gun. Yo, this is muttony. You got a what? A weird artifact. Oh, nice. Time to make a new meal. Time to make a new meal. We should keep trying on that special brew. Special brew. Let's uh, let's not use salt. It might be what's giving us problems. Let's just try skulk and honey. Nothing else. Not regular honey. All honey. Yeah. That was tasty. Why isn't it giving us three options? I gotta look into this because it's really slowing us down. You know what? Um, sorry, you're gonna see Discord for a moment there. Uh, people at home. I'm gonna look up because I'm, I'm trying to do some uh, research into this kind of thing. Cooking and gathering. Got the wiki open here. Carbide Chef, whenever you gain a level and 5% of the time you explore a new map, you become inspired for two days. While inspired, the next time you cook a meal by choosing ingredients, you get a choice of three dynamically generated effects to apply. I have Carbide Chef, so I don't know. Note that the ingredients used to cook your next meal will re be required anytime you want to cook that exact recipe again. Mm-hmm. Um... I don't get it. Carbide chef not giving three choices. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna poke the Caves of Cut Discord after this because it's a uh, it's a weird one. It's it's kind of uh, giving us problems. When did it start? A little bit ago. I mean, I think I've encountered this as well, but I'm not sure why. Is it, it because I have two faces? No, I can't be. It's not for any logical reason, as far as I can tell. It might just be that it's a random occurrence that we're getting a lot of. But I thought that the whole point of Carbide Chef was that it increased your odds of getting what you needed and or wanted. I might even ask Narf on this one. In fact, you know, uh, I guess I'd have to... I'm, I'm messing with Discord right now, so that's not going to work. All right. Well, you know, we're almost done here. Freeze frogs again, huh? More freeze frogs. Okay. That's a trash monk. One of my favorite uh, enemies to encounter underground 
is the Trash Abbot, who's quite uh, a menace, but they are very prone to being um, stunlocked, and they mm. also tend to carry very, very valuable things. Also, reload. <laughs> All right, we're good. This place sucks. Your your character agrees, I think. Because they are currently trashing the place. What's that one? I think we went we there. That one already. Yeah. We're going northwest of Greek Gate. The one in the river gives me a little bit of uh concern. I don't know if we want to skip that one, maybe. You clicked on it immediately. I clicked on it. We're going to it. You're lost in the river. This is the worst possible scenario. You regain your bearings. Okay. Leave this place immediately. This is not a place of joy. It only makes me want to go there more. It is not a place of honor. One. This yeah. one? Yeah, that, that, that would be a better one. Ooh. More ruins. Those better not be in the river, I swear to God. All right, looks okay so far. Why am I hungry? Didn't I just eat? Yeah, but you've been traveling on the map. Every time you travel on the map, it's the equivalent of like days. I've been bonded. Yeah. Doop, 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 doop. Traveling around in the river. I really hope this is not the river. Because sometimes the river can look a lot like the jungle. Doopy doop doop doop. Empty books. A beetle. Oh, chain oh. turrets. You can beat those up. This is no problem. You're at the you're at the point where this is not nearly uh so dangerous. Get out of here. Chain turrets are pretty good XP, although maybe Ooh. not anymore. Wow. You really walked into a party there. Yeah, this, I think this is jungle. By the way, uh, I don't know if you noticed that yellow lad when you went to the river for a split second. But, nope. um, okay, never mind then. Save that for a future episode. Be friendly? The yellow lad? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, the, the literal opposite of friendly. I'm in a wedge. You are wedged right now. You got gelatinous wedged. There's some fun uh, gelatinous creatures in this one. They kind of, uh, like, I don't know how to put it, like, increase in complexity. Does this carbide plate armor sound better than my iron plate armor? I thought you had carbide plate armor. I don't think so. Do a quick check. Uh, no, stop. Stop it, mister. I'm pretty sure you have carbide plate armor. Nope. You have folded carbide plate armor, I think. Or maybe it's just colored that way. Look at it. Engraved sturdy carbide yeah. plate armor. All right. There you go. We haven't reinforced it yet. It could uh, be worth one more AV. But I'm pretty sure it's pretty expensive to do so. I can't remember what it takes. Might take a five bit. Let's look. Let's look. Yeah, five bit. Two and a five. You can do it. Apparently you have a five bit. I don't know when that happened. Mm -hmm. I got two. Uh, why don't we do that? We'll have one more bit ready for when we... Uh, want to make a blood cell oh also we did a little bit of management between episodes and we picked up a data disc for a bio biodynamic cell blood battery blood battery we just gotta get smart enough to make it yeah it's taken a while because we're really not getting very much in terms of xp we're gonna have to do a, a, a ruin deep dive Well, books help. Oh. We're wedged. I don't know if the wedges give us an XP. Yeah, 32. Not not really. 
grab the books all the books then to eat you what another go folk village yay we love goat folk they didn't seem that tough i think we could take them seed sowers you keep saying that like i i really good care it's really just like if you encounter even two then you're just getting bombarded every turn and it goes th straight through your av and it just does a lot of damage it's it's like immediately goes from like this is no problem at all to oh my god i'm dying and dead and it has happened to me far too often all right this place sucks I'm not getting great ruins Let's check out one more ruin before we end the episode. Okay. He's almost done, I think. There we go. He's done. And up. One more in Flower Fields. That guy. Yeah, that's the one. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Damn. Do beer. I hate to break you. This is going to be a go village. We've been here. We've been to do beer. I remember do beer. was it? Yeah, we've been here. All right. Uh, let's, uh, I think we have one more. Let's figure some stuff out here. Ruins. Um, so we haven't been to Akamur. We haven't been to Buranip. Pretty sure Ekamer is in the ruin though, so I mean, you can go there if you want, but I really think it'll I think you will lead to regret. But hey, we're almost at the end of the episode, so I know a cliffhanger could be fun. Ba 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 bum. Uh Orc sites. Those are all in the moon stair. Layers? Could go to a layer. We could do we like go to the first layer. We, 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 we never visited. Yeah, let's check out like glowfish and seed spitting vine. Um you don't have any love injectors. So it does make things a little bit trickier, but uh glowfish should be fine. Oh look at that. Some free witchwood bark. We got some genuine contraptions on the left side, but we also have a feral law, so this is, uh, not great. Ooh, is that algae? Algae might be good to collect. I seem to recall algae has some really fun effects. Algae, where are you seeing this? So go left. Being, uh, so this is a, um... A particular kind of power source. These, oh, it's been made brackish. Oof. Um, we could collect some maybe from some of those contraptions. But yeah, there, some of these power sources run on algae. Um, suitable for cooking. Oh yeah, it grants burgeoning. It's... Fusion pumping station. Yeah, you can you can. Oh, it's got quite a bit of stuff in it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We could we could leave this alone. It's not. It's it's fun, but it's not necessarily helpful. Hydraulic turbine. turbine. For your own interest, um, the. Uh, algae can offer plus Hello? 100 reputation. Oh my god, why? <laughs> plus 100 reputation with flowers, roots, succulents, trees, vines, and the consortium of Phyta. Or um, can you offer you the mutation um, burgeoning that uh, lets you... How do we get it? 
Uh, you might have to break some pipes and try and collect it before it becomes brackish. Not the fusion pumping station. I think that that would explode if you broke it, but the pipes. Oh, oh you, there you go. Uh, collect. Yeah. There you go. You got some algae. It's it's a it's a you know fun ingredient, not useful. All right. Well, we we have spent the rest of the episode on that, so we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> end it. Uh, if you are enjoying the rest of the or this series in general, uh, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Tell us where we should be going. Yeah. Tell us. <laughs>